Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. So guys, as the title says, I'm going to be rehousing my green bottle blue. And it's in this 1.3 litre brass plast tub. And all my inverts are um, hugging the back of their uh, enclosure because it's uh, very cold now in the UK. And uh, my heat cable has been on now for the last three or four weeks. And there is my thermostat just there it's on uh, 74 as you can see and this will drop down to 68 degrees at around 8 p.m so yeah all my uh, inverts are hugging the back of their enclosure so i'm going to be rehousing the green bottle blue into a three litre brass plast tub and as you know my green bottle blue is a little bit bigger than my daughter's the one i have is around the two and a half inch in leg span. So let's get a bigger enclosure and let's rehouse the tarantula. So guys, there is the three litre brass plast tub. And if I just move that and you can see the uh, size difference compared to each enclosure. So this tarantula will have plenty more room to walk around. So in my bucket, I have some cocoa fibre mixed with um, sphagnum moss it's a little bit dry so I'll um, I'll spray the uh, substrate I'll put a uh, bigger water dish in as well I'll just use a milk butter milk bottle top I'll spread that sphagnum moss around. And that should be fine. So guys, in my trusty little cabinet, this is where I keep all my accessories. If you're new to the channel and you didn't know, thank you for subscribing. So I have a glass water dish. That will be absolutely perfect. And I have a piece of cork bark that I've actually found. I always keep my accessories i've got you know spare enclosures i've got batteries for my flashlight cork bark um, i've got some slate down there some sand for my scorpions the slate is for the scorpions to hide under blocks of substrate as well yeah so yeah this is my little cabinet that i got from my workplace four or five years ago now so it's absolutely perfect so let's get that piece of cork bark and water dish and put it in the enclosure so we'll place the cork bark just here. That should be okay for the trench to hide under. And we'll put the water dish just there. And we'll just top that water dish up. And that should be okay. So I've um, separated all the sphagnum moss a little bit. I'll give it a mild spray. Nothing... Um, too drastic. There we go, that's perfectly fine. So the last thing to do now guys is put the tarantula in its new home. So guys, I've put the two enclosures together and if you look on the right hand side in the bigger enclosure, I've decided to put a fake plant inside just to add a bit of colour to the enclosure. You don't have to if you don't want to, it's completely optional. So you can see the tarantula just on the left hand side. So let's just give it a little touch. And there we go. So guys, if I just get my flashlight and shine it on the tarantula, you will see them absolutely stunning colours. Oh my God, look at that. So I'm hoping and praying that this one is a female because like I said, I have never had a female before. They always seem to turn out male. And if this one is a male, this will be my third male in my collection. I've sold the other two for breeding purposes. But um, yeah, I'm 90% sure that this one's probably a male as well. But unfortunately, that's just the way it goes when you buy unsexed slings. You just don't know if they're male or female. So I'll leave it for a couple of days, guys. Let him or her settle into its new enclosure. And then I'll give it a feed. So I hope you enjoy this video, everyone.
and thanks for watching everyone